Hi there guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Jake and you're here for another reaction. And today I'm reacting to Andor episode 12. I believe this is the season uh, finale. Um, oh, we're here. We're here. What, what a show this has been. What an unsuspecting show for me. Like in the sense that uh, I didn't suspect it to be this good. I sort of went in going like, yeah, hey, yeah, it'll be, it'll be, it'll be, it'll be good it's, if it's like, you know, if it's Star Wars and it sort of follows the same trajectory as this, as the other shows, it might, it might end up being pretty good. But for it to grip me so much and it be not like the other ones in the sense that there's not much blasters, there's not much, um, well, it has been, but there has been much blasters, there hasn't been like sort of like space battles like in the TIE Fighters and X-Wings and stuff like that. There has been, but there has been much of it. It's more, it's more grounded than I expected. More, yeah. And it, it, and I've thoroughly enjoyed it. I thought the acting has been great in this. I think everyone has just showed up. Like, obviously I saw Stellan turn up and I was like, oh, they've got Stellan Skarsgård in. That's, that's great. What a name. I haven't really seen him act too well before. In the sense that, He's, he's done his roles well, sorry, in the other stuff, but it's not been points like that monologue that he had was unreal. Absolutely unreal. Oh, what a monologue. And, um, yeah, obviously, you know, you had, yeah, your man, I, can't, I, can't, I don't want to but try and remember his name and come across as racist, so your man that plays Cassian, um, yeah, he, um, he's, he's, he's been spot on again and again and again. Um, yeah, everything about the show has been great, and I'm, I'm glad that there's a season two that's been confirmed. I'm, I'm glad that they were so, they recognised what they had on their hands to be going. All right, let's greenlight two series. We don't need just one. Let's greenlight two because we know this is good, and they're right, and I appreciate that. So I'm, I'm so glad that we have that at least that to look forward to as well. Hopefully, uh, this last episode is. Great. Uh, what well, I've been, I'm, I'm expecting him to return home to Ferex to for his for his mum's funeral. Uh, Cassian, I mean, obviously, um, shit's all hitting the fan there. Oh. Yeah, I, I mean, I, 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 I don't, I don't really want to go into it. I'd rather just jump into this. So I think I'm going to leave it there. At I am looking forward to this and I want to jump in. So, uh, yep. Yeah, so I hope I like this um episode and I. Hope you and I hope you like this reaction. And if you do, drop a like, subscribe to the channel. That'll be great. Uh, but other than that, I'll see you on the other side. Boo! 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 I don't think I've ever seen stormtroopers in the dark whilst it's been lightning. Can't remember if it has been. Have they? I? I don't know. That was a great shot. I don't know. Where is it? He wouldn't say. Yo, baby, he's coming. He's bloody coming. You spies everywhere, lads. Spies. Everyone's got spies here. It's like the spies for the fucking Empire and the spies for the Rebellions are all here. <laughs> what are you doing here, my dude? I need to know. What are you, what are you building here? Please say it's a pipe bomb for the, uh, for the Imperials. Jake, 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 Jake. Oh, he's getting you drunk to tell these secrets. Oh, no! Why worry it though? <sighs> you fucking idiot! Keep it that way. Right, the reveal of what this kid kid's doing better be unreal. Cause I'm only getting part of it. It better be the best reveal in the world. Oh yeah, fucking give it. Just tell him he's a prick. Everything. Oh, you fucking bitch. Oh, oh, wait, hold on. Maybe she wants him to listen. Did she just sacrifice her husband for the greater good? The greater good. Oh, shut up, you needy fuck. There's a rebellion! Are they, are they breaking up? If so, do it quick. There's a rebellion. Oh, Gandalf's coming! Is he already here? Oh. You know what? I don't make <laughs> this could see with his dad. No. Two times the price. I mean, eyes open. <laughs> oh, no. Just this in the house. I loved your mom. I really did. <laughs> we all did. <laughs> Fuck. 
Oh yeah, he needs to know. <laughs> he needs to know everything. It breaks. It <sighs> That's it. Listen to our boy. Listen to our boy. Oh, I remember, baby. Come on, Cassian, get out there. Daughters of Ferex. Fucking learn her name. She's fitting. She's fitting very well. She actually masks. She's like one of those people that could just slip in and out. Obviously, that's got down to the costume department as well and the makeup. But still, as a structurally as a face, she can probably fit into most places. She must. She's definitely. She must be fucking playing chess here. Must be right. Ah, uh, for the rebellion. Not today. There's no way he's touching on Ferrex as well, right? There's no way. Mr. Secrecy is no. He's he's not on Ferrex, surely not. No hood will stop that. Shit. He, he's going to be so happy if he finds Cassian. Is that his brother? Well, brother lies in friend. Yes, hug. Oh, look at that. Look at that. He's, he's clasped his hands behind him. This is beautiful. I wanted her to live. She told me you'd say all this. Oh, she, she's amazing. Oh. He's just the first spark of the fire. <sighs> he knows everything he needs to know. Mira. Oh my god, it wasn't even her who said it, it was him. I need a second. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh. Fucking bastards. <laughs> the whole of you is. Uh, whoever wrote it, them acting, the ghost of Mira, all of you is making me cry. Oh, that's not gonna be the last time either, is it? Oh, these fucking two. Oh. Everyone's here. Everyone's here. Shit's gonna hit the fucking fan. There's a marching band. Fucking hell. It's gonna be sensational. All right, I'm getting so fucking tense now. This is this is this is a bit too much for me. These fucks are here, on the floor, like on the ground. Oh, idiots. Oh, I'm so tense. That better be a bomb you got in that bag, son. That better be a bomb. Oh shit, he sees him. Oh shit. You fucking idiots. Fuck it, you think that was just gonna work like that? Oh, B! 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 That's it. Blow them up. Blow them up. Oh. Bix. Bix, you're breaking my heart. Everyone's breaking my heart. I'm fucking sad as hell. I hate you. Yes. 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 <laughs> yes. I'm pumped. Let's go. Let's do this. Oh my god. Come on, kid. Blow him up now. Come on, kid. Blow him up now. This is fucking building. Come on. Do something now, someone. Oh my god. Only to be worthy of the stone. Strange. Lifted me. And now I'm dead. And I yearn to lift you. Oh, Mira. Because I want to shine, or even be remembered. Mira, sorry. <laughs> it's because I want you. We kept their engines churning, and the moment they pulled away, mm. you got them. Mm. Come on. Because it's here, and it's not visiting anymore. Oh my God. It wants to stay. Never more alive than when we sleep. Preach it, sister. Fighting. Yeah, we 
What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Someone kill him. Oh, you get your fucking hands off! Yes! Yes! Get it! Oh my god, he's built like a fucking animal. Look at him. Yes! Yes! Hey, you little fucking fanny. <laughs> it's not a dream. Come on. Up you get. Kid, whatever you've got fucking got, you need to get in there now. Oh, you, f you, you this little weirdo. Kid, do it. Do it. That's it. Oh, fuck off, Cyril. Yes! My dude! Yes! Fuck yes! Yes. Yes. Oh, kid coming in clutch, mate. Coming in clutch. Hit the fan real quick, mate. Look at him, he's outy. Oh, no. Yes, go on, save him. Oh. Oh, my dude. Oh, everyone's... Oh, fucking... B. Someone fucking get B up now. Should you just stab him? Yes. Good. Yes! Fucking yes! Good! Fucking cut off his head while she's there. Go on. Oh. Oh. Sensational. Shoot him in the head while she's there as well. Go on. This bitch. Yes! Fucking get down! Yes! So, someone needs to stamp on her head. But I bet Cyril's gonna fucking save her. Use the fucking hammers on him. Oh, <laughs> oh fuck off, Cyril. Because he's a stalker creep. Oh, she's gonna fall in love with him now, probably. Oh. Okay, I was a little bit worried they might kiss there, and I was like, this... Not an appropriate time, nor would she, as a character, would do that. You go now, well, forget it. <sighs> is it? Is, is it Cassian? Cassian. Oh, PC, not PC. We just. Oh, B. Fucking Cassian, just lift B up like a child and hug him. Oh, <laughs> B. He does. He always come through. He does. Well done, kiddo. You did fucking great there. I don't even know what I just did there. It was just a reaction. I don't care. It's been an emotional ride for me this episode. Has she just played chess in the sense that? She's now having to, she's now pinned the blame on her husband's gambling as to why now from the outside it looks like they're having to set this up because he owes money. Is that how she's played this? Because that's just so like <sighs> Cassie knows where the ship is from last time, doesn't he? So he's probably going to be waiting there. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's that's a fucking huge bluff to be playing. B knows you'll take him in. Imagine you just just shot him. <laughs> that's how it ended. <laughs> oh, what a show! What a show! Right, what have we got going on here? Oh, is this what they were building before? Oh shit! <laughs> oh shit! It makes so much sense. <laughs> it's I did I piece that together?
And that, guys, was my reaction to and or episode 12. <sighs> what an emotional roller coaster that was. It was such a good finale. Like, sorry, I think I cut myself out of excitement at one point with my nail. I'm bleeding. <laughs> but, um, yeah, it was so... It was so inspiring. It was it was heartbreaking. It was tense. It was badass. It was it was every it was so good. It it was what I thought and more. Uh, this episode could be, and I'm just really really happy with how they uh, they've ended it and how this whole series was series went. Like I said in my intro, is that I didn't expect it to be this good, and now I'm just like obsessed. It's a fucking unreal. <sighs> I'm so happy. <laughs> But what I'll do is I'll talk through the notes I have here to help me, like, at least keep some, like, sort of grip on, on, uh, this, <laughs> this, uh, this, uh, what's this? What do I call this? This outro, I guess, uh, <laughs> and this review. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> yeah, I'll say that. Um, but also, yeah, um, yeah, the whole thing to do with this, the, the buildup of spies everywhere, like, not knowing who to trust, obviously we knew not to, who knew not to trust because we seen them. But for them, it's like you are seeing them sort of like revealing secrets to these spies, and then they're also just lurking in the background. No, it's sort of, and they both have their spies everywhere. It isn't just the empire; it is the rebellion, and it, and it makes it they have to fight fire with fire. They're part of the same sort of like structure that they have to do this to gather intel to then be able to do get through what they have to do. Both of them have to do that way, but it's like so tense to have, like your man. <clears throat> accidentally tell uh the wrong dude that uh about cassie and coming back and then all that sort of shit happening but um that was a tense sort of start to it all um mon then using the whole gambling ploy as a fucking as, as a it's a ruse to be able to then look like i've had to marry off my daughter to this uh this sort of shark uh it's shark son you know it's yeah and in the archaic way of which she doesn't want to because she's just she ha she had to do it. She hated it. She doesn't want them to have to do that shit. But she's done it, and it just so happens the daughter seems to be into that sort of shit. <laughs> so, yeah, um, yeah. No, that was a that's a yeah. That was that's fucked up. <laughs> but it was so spare. To, there's that. Oh, that was a high IQ play. That was bam. I'm gonna blame it on him to then get this done. So then we can get the money and get money laundered. So then we can still fund this rebellion and she is fucking great for that the greater good i guess sacrificing not really sacrificing her daughter in the sense that the daughter wants it but it's what she she never wanted for her daughter i guess but yeah mm, perfect perfect stuff um yeah i wrote them breakup question mark because uh vel and um oh, i've forgotten her partner's name well it could be ex-partner for all i know uh I've, I've forgotten her name and I haven't written it down. I'm gobshite. Sintra, isn't it? Sintra. <clears throat> yeah. They, I wrote down breakup question mark because it was like a, she was too busy focusing on the thing. And Vel's like, she, Vel's made for this place, but she's not really because she's got, she seems to be sort of letting it, her emotions get in the way. And I guess that's because she's, she wants a rebellion to go and she wants to be part of it, but she isn't as, ruthless as Luthen or anyone else it's it, any other people it's like she still feels so in the midst of all that sort of but with Sintra is like determined it's the rebellion we need to do this and Vel's just like can, can, can you can you look at me please can you stop turn around please like oh god it's like oh come on man come on and at the same time I kind of get it but at the same time I'm annoyed because it's like there's a job to do here but <laughs> I guess yeah uh but yeah, no, um, yeah, yeah, just having a look here, uh, this sort of shit here, uh, yeah, so that's where, so I don't know if they broke up, or they could, um, or they could have, like, this, it was like a, right, stop, turn around, let's make love, or so, <laughs> or it's a breakup, who knows, it didn't come across that way afterwards when she found her, so who, who, who knows, really, <coughs> um, and or having, like, yeah, well, Cassian has having memories of his dad with the uh, 
with these sort of like components that he was taking the rust off. That was that was a lovely moment. I should have known from then it was just going to be a fucking shit show of tears coming from me throughout this episode. And I think I'm welling up a little bit now just thinking about it. But um, yeah, what a, what a lovely, lovely moment. Simple, subtle. And then he just moves on, and it was just it was just so nice that like he, it's it's not the huge moments that he's remembering; it's the small moments where it's just them two. Like it's not like him saving his life or or like sort of anything like that. It's it is the subtle moments, and that's that's what's lovely. It's just a brief breakaway, show that he's remembering his dad, and then go back. Um, hold on a second. There we go. Um. Yes, um, I wrote down book of inspiration because because uh, Cassian lifting into the manifest that's been left by um, oh I can't remember his name I can't remember his name I can't remember his name what's his name ah oh, I'm, I'm I won't remember his one I don't think so I'll just let it slide but you're having to say yeah then that moment of just then just sort of getting inspired in that fucking like the rain in the background listening to the manifest going like right yeah. He is right. Everything I've seen, everything I've experienced, everything I've done, leading up to listen to this manifest and just be, oh yeah, manifest oh, this book of inspiration, <laughs> and then to be like, mm, 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 let's fucking go, let's go, yes, um, yeah, uh, <clears throat> let's have a look here, yeah. Then obviously, then I've written down when obviously Cassie's then going through like the sewers and shit. He bumps, he bumps into Brasso, and he then gets, he then gives him his his Mervis last words. And at some point, I'm fairly certain I did say I did call him Mira by some chance because I, I don't know, I'm all over the place, but I know her name's Mira. I just think I called him Mira. anyway. Um, it's Mira anyway. But that was the moment that day. Oh fucking hell, Jesus Christ. Oh. It was beautiful. It was heartbreaking, but it was beautiful. And I'm glad I experienced it. And I'm glad he was the one that told them. It wasn't just like a that they saved the um hologram for the inspirational moment. It wasn't two holograms. It was it was words. You could see Brussels A and Scene Effect Cassian and it was like Yeah, and then we got that so perfect. Um the whole thing with the procession starting as well, the build up, the music, the tension they've built from it. Like they've done so well with this uh, show to be able to build up tension. It's been unreal. They've just, it's been, it's just, and it's subtlety, especially with that anvil, your man with the fucking an anvil and that thing. He's been able to help everyone with their own sort of like scrattling of the, like whatever they could and the, and the, and the, the procession this time round. Oh, that kid with his fucking bomb, the build up of him building something there. And he just knew it, just waiting for it, waiting for that fucking prime moment. Um, but yeah, but I said, I then wrote down, um, I wrote that everyone's here because then fucking Luthen pops up, obviously Bell's there with Sintra, um, Miro's there, it's, it's, ugh. and then everyone's there, and then you have Merva's Mer actual final words, or e I wrote that Merva's Mer even final words, so even more of them, that was unreal, that was beautiful, it was heartbreaking, but fuck me, was it inspirational. It which it was I honest to God I feel sorry for me in a couple of hours when I have to edit this, um I I don't know how I'm gonna do it with that bit because that with this whole episode in general but oh it was just it was beautiful it was that's all it was it was beautiful and it was the right level of inspiration that fucker then kicking over B, uh the start then oh that that, that just sent Brasso on his way. Whoo, just, just, he hulked the fuck out. What an, oh, what a dude. What a moment, that whole build up. And then your man throwing the bomb. Everyone's sort of like, people know this is it. This is it. We know, they've inspired, they see what we were saying. That if, like, we have to kill these bastards. We have to get rid of them. We, we were caught sleeping. We need to fucking stop this, stand up and fight. And that was it. It happened. Everyone then's fucking there. Then they had to open fire. Obviously, once the bomb went off, it was, it, it was, it was trying to do a controlled nature. Don't kill people. They've just blown up our shit. Let's shoot now. And then it's having people, peeps that we know just getting killed as well, getting put down. Seeing like the likes of Luthen as well, after being inspired by Marvin's words, to then be like, this is what the Empire does. This is this is just reaffirms what I, my belief in, in what we need to do and that more people will see what we have to do. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, so uh, Cyril... 
being there to save Miro, which of course was probably either going to set up for the next season of him working with her or for her or um, washing her feet because he's in love with her. I don't know. The guy's intense. And I'm glad, like I said in a, in a moment, uh, that that uh, that he didn't that they didn't do it like a stupid fucking kiss because it's not in her character to kiss him in that moment. It was like a she and, and I like that. I was there like I was gonna because she there was almost about to be fucking murdered and killed, and then she then has uh, Cyril there. So of course the adrenaline's pumping and she's like oh, they're close in, in a dark shape. It's, it, it, they, I think she, they did that so well because she's not being like going like. No, she's going to be all over the place. She's not a fucking soldier. She's just a fucking desk jockey that happens to think that they're soldiers. That's all they think they are. And so she, they, 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 when some of the shit hits the fan, they're going to be fucking worried as hell. So, yeah, like, I think that's, that scene was done very well. was done very well. Again, I would prefer it if her head was caved in, and Cyril's, for that matter. Um, but, <laughs> but uh, yeah. Hmm. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah. Uh, I mean, great, great scene, but, you know, Better scene would have been if someone came in after and just went, you know, um, yeah. Cassian getting Bix to the ship, them on the on the ship, telling them to like get going, you know, uh, having that moment, him having his little moment, be saying, "I always, but very much saying, I need you to look after him. I always ask you this because you always, you always fall through." Oh, be, oh, be. I mean, he just breaks my heart. As I don't know how droids do it, but they just do. And he's, he is so pure of her to be having to go through all that, being part of the procession. How is he part of the procession? I'm getting emotional just thinking about it now. But being part of that procession, then doing the... Tell, oh, to, to, uh, yeah. And then Cassian having his little moment, saying head to... I fairly said he said head to the beach uh, hut that he has. Or, or I'm fairly certain that's what he said. I, I, I don't know. It went over for, like, everything was just swirling in my head but I'm afraid he said to go to where he was on that beach area where he got caught last time um, I'm fairly certain that's what he said if he either way he, he sent them off somewhere he knows where he sent them and that he told them to go there and he will meet them Bix saying he'll be he'll be there he'll meet us there because he came back for her so she's inspired and she's it's a, reassured everyone she's reassured be the droid <laughs> she's reassured the droid that he'll be back and, he, and I believe he will be back in some form or another or another um, but then him then knew where Luthan ship was because he saw him and he knew where he parked last time he's gone there he's just like right he's played the ultimate sort of game of bam you can kill me I know you're trying to kill me you can kill me or recruit me I'm ready now I've seen enough I've been through so much shit I've seen so many people get killed by these bastards he, he was inspired by Marva's last words he, it, but he was inspired before that and he was he was just wasn't ripe yet he wasn't ripe for the taken and there he is and it's going to be beautiful. And I think it's going to frustrate Vel and Sintra and all them having him part of it now because they were supposed to be out there to kill him because, you know, he backed off. But I think that might be really good for season two to see them being like, well, how are we going to have this guy on the back if he ran off last time? Like, how can we trust them? This and blah, blah. It's, I think that's going to be, that's going to set up for something great. Um, but yeah, uh, overall, what a show. What a season. It's just it's been it's been Star Wars and it's been the, the some of the best parts of Star Wars in my opinion, especially of recent time. I mean, um, and I've said that a bunch of times. I say this is now that the first season's finished. I'd say for me, thus far, uh, I mean, I don't know. I don't. I don't think it beats Mandalorian for me personally. I don't think it does. Mandalorian has a special place in my heart and it's fucking great writing it's, you know what, that's what I mean is that I think that it's it's felt like Star Wars and they've introduced new parts of Star Wars but it felt like all the Star Wars shows but then obviously like the Book of Boba Fett I'd say uh, the best episode of that might have been the second episode where well no sorry when Mandalorian turned back up that was the best episode but I think if you obviously that's just me just getting gassed over the Mandalorian but if you then take that away and you then have like just say I say the best episode I had with him was when he was when he showed him building uh, his trust with the Tuscan uh, Raiders, and then he actually then becomes one of them. And it's then at the end, it's them doing the ceremony around the fire. What a fucking episode that was! But overall, the season I thought that was good. I enjoy, I enjoyed it, I, but it wasn't as good as as Andor for me. Um, I, I think it's over Book of Boba Fett, and I think it's just behind Mandalorian. I think. I'm I'm fair. Oh, yeah, it is. It, it's yes, it is. I've got 
I've got a great affiliation with Mandalorian. <laughs> it's yeah, it's but for me, it's still top class fucking television. It's 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 great storytelling paced so well, and it's a different part of the Star Wars universe, like I've said before. And it doesn't have to be all action. Now it was action in this episode, but it was more resistance action where it was just it was it was it was a bumbling fight. It was it was it was a build up to then a bomb just getting thrown off, and then they were open firing on civilians, and then there was just then people just pair of it, and then that was it was that was it. It wasn't like a space fight. It wasn't to d- destroy like an ultimate weapon. It was just a, like a tiny cog of the rebellion. It's just that's only the tiny piece of it. These little pieces all equal, like add up into something bigger, and that's the point of it all. So I I I, th- I think that overall this series has has been fucking great, and I honestly I can't wait for see I, I have to wait, <laughs> but I I'm really I'm gonna season two comes out I'm gonna be so so excited, so so excited. Oh, um, but yeah I I think. I th- we're we're in for a great ride with I think Star Wars television I think, uh, I think that if they keep on giving it to people who know what they're doing they they go and they give it time and they work out great stories with it like uh, with the with obviously and 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 they put enough like visual they put enough money into the visual effects for it to not look shite, <laughs> it looks great so I think we're in for a, gonna be it's gonna be. This might end up being peak moments for Star Wars, in my opinion. When if they can keep on getting this television right with the storytelling, um, and I, I'm here for it. So yeah. So uh, other than that, guys, I think I'm going to leave it there. So um, yeah, if you like this video, please like the video. Comment there below. What do you think of this um, finale? What do you think of Marvel's last words? Just what do you think of it overall? But how did you cry? I did. <laughs> As you can tell, <laughs> I'm still slightly well enough. But yeah, so let me know down below what you thought. Um, if you like these types of videos, please subscribe to the channel. Um, hit the notification bell, get a notification every time I upload. There's a bunch of other videos around here with me and other people reacting and stuff. Have a wee look around, see if there's anything that takes your fancy. Um, as for uh, me, I'm fairly certain is that I might... If, if you've happened to stay through this to the end, well done. I, I talk shit. But I, fa- I think for me now is that I, I'm fairly certain it's going to dry up a wee bit reactions leading up to... Uh, I think January is when I think I'll stand reacting to um, The Last of Us. I think that's when that comes out. And then it's The Mandalorian after that. So I think it's going to certainly be less. Obviously, it's a little bit less videos now because all I've been doing and all really. But there's a few specials. I think I might do some other videos where I have with someone else. I'm going to start putting them up. But it might look a little bit dark, but I'm still in the background somewhere. So I'm still here, guys. And if you've gotten to this point in this reaction and you're still here, I appreciate you. <laughs> so yeah. So other than that, guys. I guess if you're here for specifically um, Star Wars related stuff, uh, I'll see you in Mandalorian, I guess. Or I'll see you for Andor Season 2. But other than that, I'll see you out there anyway.